हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोमेंट्स एंड मोमेंट जनरेटिंग फंक्शंस ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल्स सो लेट अस सी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट इज मोमेंट देन वी विल सी व्हाट इज मोमेंट जनरेटिंग फंक्शन which we also call as MGF. Then we will see how to find moments from MGF. Next, we will see problems on moments and moment generating function. So let us proceed to understand what is moment. In probability theory, moments are numerical characteristic of probability distribution. They describe the distributions shape and location. For example, mean, standard deviation, etc. Mean is the representative of distribution and standard deviation describes the spread of items around the mean. For random variable x, moments are defined as x expected values. For example, e of x, e of x square, e of x cube and so on. So these are all are moments of random variable x. Now let us properly define moment. Moments are defined about any value or about mean as follows. The rth moment of variable x about any point A is denoted by mu r dash and is given by summation pi into xi minus a whole raise to r. This is called as raw moment. Therefore, rth moment of variable x about 0 is given by summation pi xi raised to r. I have simply substituted a equal to 0 in this formula. Next we are going to see what is 0th moment. To obtain 0th moment all we have to do is we have to substitute r equal to 0 over here. So I am going to substitute r equal to 0 in that formula to get 0th moment. 0th moment is denoted by mu 0 dash and is given by summation pi into xi minus a whole raised to 0. But we know anything raised to 0 is always 1. So this is nothing but only summation pi. And we also know that summation of probabilities of all the values of x is always equal to 1. That is summation pi equal to 1. So we left with answer 1. Therefore, 0th moment of any random variable x about any point A is always equal to 1. Now let us recall moments about origin that is 0. We have seen the rth moment of a variable x about point 0 is given by mu r dash is equal to summation pi into xi raised to r. Therefore, its first moment about 0 is given by summation pi xi raised to 1. But this is nothing but formula of expectation of x. Similarly, second moment about origin is given by summation pi xi square. It is denoted by mu2 dash. But this summation pi xi square is nothing but expectation of x square. Similarly, mu3 dash will give you expectation of x cube given by summation pi xi cube and so on. I mean, you can find out expectation of x raised to n using mu n dash formula. Now let us proceed for moment generating function. The moment generating function of a discrete random variable x about point A is denoted by mat and is defined as expectation of e raised to t times x minus a which is same as summation pi into e raised to t times xi minus a. But we know that expansion of e raised to theta is 1 plus theta upon 1 factorial plus theta square upon 2 factorial plus theta cube upon 3 factorial and so on. Using the same expansion over here, we can write this as summation pi as it is. Expansion of e raised to t times xi minus a is 1 plus t into xi minus a upon 1 factorial plus 
t square into x i minus a the whole square upon two factorial plus t cube into x i minus a the whole cube upon three factorial and so on. Now let us take this summation p i inside the bracket. So we get summation p i into one summation p i t upon one factorial is constant. We will keep it outside the summation. So we have t upon one factorial into summation p i into x i minus a plus once again t square upon two factorial is constant. So we will keep it outside the summation. Therefore, third term will become t square upon two factorial into summation p i into x i minus a the whole square. Next term will be t cube upon three factorial into summation p i x i minus a the whole cube and so on. But we know that summation p i into x i minus a is nothing but mu 1 dash. Similarly, summation p i into x i minus a the whole square is mu 2 dash and so on. So we replace this term by mu 1 dash, this one by mu 2 dash, this one by mu 3 dash and so on. Therefore, moment generating function m a t will now look like 1 plus mu 1 dash into t upon 1 factorial plus mu 2 dash into t square upon 2 factorial plus mu 3 dash into t cube upon 3 factorial and so on. Its rth term will look like mu r dash into t raised to r upon r factorial. This is moment generating function of random variable x about point a. Now let us see how to find moments from moment generating function. For that, Consider the following moment generating function of random variable x about point A. It is given by 1 plus mu 1 dash into t upon 1 factorial plus mu 2 dash into t square upon 2 factorial plus mu 3 dash into t cube upon 3 factorial and so on. The first moment that is mu 1 dash can be obtained from m a t by simply differentiating m a t once at t equal to 0. So mu 1 dash is given by first derivative of m a t at t equal to 0. Mu 2 dash is same as second derivative of m a t at t equal to 0. Similarly, you can find out mu r dash by simply finding the rth derivative of m a t at t equal to 0. Now let us see examples on this. In this first example, we are given that x denotes the outcome when a fair die is tossed. We are asked to find moment generating function of random variable x and hence we have to find the mean and variance of x. Let us see its solution. First of all, we will find out the probability distribution of the random variable x when a fair die is tossed. We know when a fair die is tossed, the outcomes are 1 to 6. So x will take values 1 to 6 with probability of each of its value as 1 by 6. Now we find the moment generating function of x about point 0. It is given by m0t which is same as expectation of e raised to t into x. Now let us find out expectation of e raised to t into x. It is simply summation p i into e raised to t x i. x i values are 1 to 6 where p i is 1 by 6. So summation p i e raised to t x i is 1 by 6 e raised to t into 1 plus 1 by 6 e raised to t into 2 plus 1 by 6 into e raised to t into 3 and so on. The last value will be 1 by 6 into e raised to 60. 1 by 6 is common in all the terms. So we will take it out. Inside the bracket, we will have e raised to t plus e raised to 2t plus e raised to 3t up to e raised to 60. This is moment generating function of the given random variable x. Now let us find out mean and variance. We know that mean is nothing but expectation of x and variance of x is nothing but 
expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square. So we require two moments expectation of x and expectation of x square to find mean and variance. So let us obtain these two moments from moment generating function. The first moment mu1 dash that is expectation of x is given by derivative of mat at t equal to 0. For that let us differentiate this mat and then we substitute t equal to 0 in it. 1 by 6 is constant we will keep it as it is. Derivative of e raised to t is e raised to t. Derivative of e raised to 2t is 2 e raised to 2t. Derivative of e raised to 3t is 3 e raised to 3t and so on. Derivative of e raised to 60 is 6 e raised to 60. Finally, we put t equal to 0 in this. We will get e raised to 0 here, e raised to 0 here, here, here and here. But we know e raised to 0 is 1. So, we will left with 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 inside the bracket. Which is nothing but 21 upon 6. And we know 21 upon 6 is 7 by 2. So, mu1 dash that is expectation of x is 7 by 2. Therefore, mean is 7 by 2. Now, we find mu2 dash that is expectation of x square. Mu2 dash is nothing but second derivative of mat at t equal to 0. We have already differentiated this mat once. So, let us write that derivative over here. Now let us differentiate this one more time with respect to t. Derivative of e raised to t is e raised to t. Derivative of e raised to 2t is 2 e raised to 2t. That 2 and this 2 will become 4. e raised to 3t's derivative is e raised to 3t into 3. That 3 and this 3 becomes 9 and so on. So last term will now become 6 into e raised to 60 into 6. That is 36 into e raised to 60. Now finally we put t equal to 0 in this. So we get 1 by 6 into 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 which is equal to 91 upon 6. So 91 upon 6 is nothing but mu2 dash which is expectation of x square. And we know that variance of x is nothing but expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square. In terms of mu dash it is written as mu2 dash minus mu1 dash the whole square. But we saw mu2 dash is 91 upon 6 and mu1 dash is 7 by 2. So after substituting them over here we get variance of x as 35 upon 12. I hope guys you understood how to find mean and variance from moment generating function. Now let us proceed for next example. In this example, we are asked to find MGF mean and variance of the random variable x about origin, whose probability mass function is given by this table. So here x is the random variable taking values minus 2, 3 and 1, where its probabilities are respectively 1 by 3, 1 by 2 and 1 by 6. Let us proceed for the solution. The moment generating function of random variable x about origin is given by m0t and is given by expectation of e raised to tx which is same as summation pi into e raised to txi. Now let us substitute one by one values for pi and xi. When x1 is minus 2 its probability p1 is 1 by 3. So, first term will be 1 by 3 into e raised to minus 2t. When x2 is 3, its probability is 1 by 2. So, second term will be 1 by 2 e raised to 3t. Similarly, when x is 1, its probability is 1 by 6. So, third term will become 1 by 6 e raised to t. So, this is moment generating function of the random variable x about origin. Now, let us find out mean. We know mean is nothing but expectation of x and expectation of x is first moment about origin. So let us find out first moment that is mu1 dash from m0t that is mgf. 
we know that mu1 dash is same as first derivative of m0t at t equal to 0. So let us differentiate m0t and then substitute t equal to 0 in it. Derivative of m0t will be 1 by 3 into e raised to minus 2t into minus 2 plus 1 by 2 into e raised to 3t into 3 plus 1 by 6 into e raised to t as it is. Now we substitute t equal to 0 in this. This e raised to minus 2t will become 1. e raised to 3t will become 1. e raised to t will also become 1. So we will left with minus 2 upon 3 plus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 6 which is same as 1. So here mu1 dash that is expectation that is mean of x is 1. Now let us proceed to find out second moment mu2 dash. Mu2 dash is defined as second derivative of m0t at t equal to 0. So this is its first derivative. We will differentiate it one more time. So we will have e raised to minus 2t's derivative as e raised to minus 2t into minus 2. That minus 2 and this minus 2 will become 4. Similarly, e raised to 3t's derivative is 3 e raised to 3t that 3 and this 3 will become 9 and this e raised to t's derivative will remain as e raised to t. Now after substituting t equal to 0 in this we will have 4 by 3 here, 9 by 2 here and 1 by 6 here which is same as 6. So mu2 dash that is expectation of x square is 6. Now using mu2 dash and mu1 dash we will find out variance. We know variance is nothing but expectation of x square that is mu2 dash minus expectation of x the whole square that is mu1 dash square. Substituting values for mu2 dash and mu1 dash here we get variance as 6 minus 1 square that is 5. I hope guys you understood how to find out moment generating function of the discrete random variable x when its pmf is given and using which you can obtain the moments of x that are expectation of x, expectation of x square, even you can go beyond expectation of x square, you can find out expectation of x cube, expectation of x raised to 4. Their names are mu1 dash, mu2 dash, mu3 dash, mu4 dash and so on. Using which you can find out mean, variance, standard deviation and so on. If you wanted to find the standard deviation, you simply obtain the square root of variance. You will get standard deviation. Now guys, it is your time to solve some examples. Below are some practice examples. Their solutions are also mentioned below. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you were able to solve these examples or not. Also write me in comment box how much useful you find this video is. Guys, please subscribe my channel to watch more such interesting videos. Also share these videos among your friends and classmates. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.